Hey! Hi everybody in Shave the Man. Hi everybody on YouTube. It's Effin, Rob Frank, Wodenson One, your friend, I hope. I've got a bunch of mail calls uh, over the past couple of weeks. Actually, the past two or three weeks. And um, I haven't done a video in a while, so I figured I'd do it. Excuse me for the beaver hair. Um, today was not a day for pomade. And I need, desperately need a haircut. So, but anyway. Um, I got uh, a very nice personal uh, mail call recently from a friend on the UK Wet Shavers and Shave the Man form, Mr. Ben Laidler. I hope I pronounced your name correctly, Ben. And uh, I'm going to show you what Ben, ben and I traded. Uh, it turns out that uh, American-made pomades are stupid expensive in the UK. So I traded in some uh, Sheer Revival water-based pomade for a couple of things from England. So, first thing that I don't have to show you is the wonderful candies and lollies that he sent, um, including a Romney mint cake, which I've had before in Derbyshire, England. I have friends that are from Mellor, and um, we went to go see an old, we went to go take a, uh, tour of an old lead mine uh, together with uh, their family and my family a couple of years ago and uh, I had one then and it was it was great. Um, rumor tells me that uh, it's issued for the British Army so um, I can understand that because it certainly gives you a lot of energy. And uh, Ben also sent me about 25 to 30 packets of HP sauce which I adore and uh, which a lot of places around here they call themselves Irish or English uh, don't have bottles of so I'm not eating shepherd's pie without HP sauce so Ben you're a stand up guy I appreciate the trade I hope you like the pomade and this part of the mail call is for you the first thing that Ben sent me was Erasmus shave stick unfortunately I haven't been able to use it but it smells great. It's a very clean, soapy smell. Second thing Ben sent me was Wilkinson Sword Shaving Soap, which smells very nice. I, I like that. I like that. It's, it's very nice, and it gives a great shave. So, uh, third thing was a tube of Ingram, which is a mentholated shaving cream from made in the UK. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Did it on a menthol Monday. And the last thing was the infamous Darby Shaving Cream. This one is a lemon scent. I actually think this one's made in Turkey. It is. Uh, it's probably made by the same people that make Arco. And um, it's, from what I understand, it's silly cheap. I, all these things are silly cheap in the UK. And, and I'm, I'm telling you, I put this up against the best of them. Uh, all of all of the stuff from the UK. Um, it just, you know, for such a low cost, especially in the UK, you really get a great product. And uh, hats off to you, mate. Thanks again, Ben. Appreciate it. Um, other than that, what did I get? The Hercules. It is licorice. Licorice and Fig. I think it's made by the same company that makes the Razor Rock soaps. If the stallion is the king, then Hercules is a god. Great stuff. Next thing was, I got a big uh, mail call from Phoenix, which is starting to turn into my one-stop shopper. So, um, Jeeves of Hudson Street Cherry Blossom. Used this this morning for my shave. Loved it. Slick, moisturizing, great soap. Uh, it's got a subtle scent. It doesn't leap right out at you. I'd probably call it a 6 out of 10. Whereas I would call something like tobacco an 11 out of 10. But uh, also made by a uh, fellow Foramite, uh, Byron Possilweet, if I pronounced your name correctly. It's good stuff. Pick some up if you can get a chance. Second thing was Tiki. Don't own any Tiki. 
Turns out that tripod and I are the last two holdouts. This is Salty Air by Tiki, and it smells like Salty Air. And I'm a big beach scent person. I think most people know that. Uh, Phoenix Artisan Ecoutrements Black Tea. Great smell. It smells like black tea. I know this was your doing, Francis. I know this was your doing. Good work. And I also picked up the corresponding bomb because the aftershave is gone because I think black tea is gone, been discontinued. Um, and I'm not a big fan of creamy balms, but I like this one and it smells great. So great performance as always from Phoenix. Um, also, I picked up from Phoenix was their pomade, which is uh, club guy scented pomade. So tomorrow I'm going to do an all club guy shave. Shaving soap, aftershave, deodorant, pomade. Phoenix, pomade. Wax faced, I believe. And finally, from that particular one was Lucky Tiger. This is the aftershave and f aftershave and face tonic. It's got a very subtle orangey scent to it, calendula and chamomile. It's not one of those aftershaves that's going to last you all day. It's going to last you about an hour. But it does wonders for my skin, and I really enjoyed using that. And my second part of the foo of the um, Phoenix mail call was the foo. I love this aftershave; it makes my wife go crazy. When I saw they had a soap available, hey, no, Tommy, I'm picking this up. It's great. It smells. Oh God. It smells like bamboo, just like the aftershave does. It's good stuff. Looking forward to using this. This is a Sunday shave right here. The foo, even though my wife's here. I mean, random women might throw themselves on me as I walk down the street, but, you know, I'm a big enough guy. I think I can take it. And finally, I think the last thing that I got today was the Damon Barber. Damon Barber. Hair pomade. It's a water-based pomade. It's made in the UK. I can't even begin to describe that scent. Um, I've only heard really good things about it, and uh, I'm going to give this a whirl on Sunday. So, Damon Barber, hair pomade number one, water-based. So, um, other than that, uh, work continues. It has its ups, it has its downs. Uh, still loving the job. A little tired right now. My day starts at 4.30 in the morning. I'm up at 4.30 in the morning. And uh, uh, it can sometimes it can be a little much. But I have a break in between my morning run and my afternoon run. And I generally come home, grab Beckett, my little Boston Terrier, and uh, take a nap. So it's about... Uh, What is it? 20 hundred, 8 o'clock, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time right now. So I'm starting to run out of steam, but I wanted to get this done because we got a lot of things going. Uh, a couple of personal notes. Um, we are, unless something major happens, we are moving to Texas in June. Karen's been offered the job full time. New York City money to live in Texas. And uh, I, for one, even though I have a lot of really good friends here, and I do, and you know how much I love you guys, I ain't looking back. I've had enough of this Northeast and bullshit for one time in my life. Looking for a nice place to retire, where people are, if, if they're dickheads, at least they're fucking polite dickheads. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah. It's going to be a bit of a stretch, but uh, we'll do the best that we can. That's all what you can ask. My Rams beat the Seahawks last weekend. 
lost, uh, Chiefs lost, yeah, what do you end up? It's the life of being a Missouri fan of football, so my grandfather was from Clay County, Missouri, so that's how I became a Missouri fan. So I hope everybody is well. I hope everybody is doing good. You're having good shaves and having laughs and hopefully right now having a pint and, um, you know, go call your family. If they're not there, call them, tell them you love them. Give your kids a hug, give your wife a hug. Give your partner a hug. Give your husband a hug. What can I tell you? Um, enjoy life. And remember that life is too short. You might as well smell good while you're living it. Everybody have a great day and a great weekend. And I hope to see you all soon. Take care.